Ruby Ryan JKU. I wanted to do a quick uh, once over on my awning, show you guys how I made it, how it goes up, and how it comes down. Uh, so I'm going to put it up, and then I will show you all the different parts, and then take it back down to see you guys can have an idea how long it actually takes to put up, and, and, and what's involved in making one. Okay, we have the awning up. Now I'm going to show you a quick little run through on the parts and stuff that we uh, made for. Okay, so I welded a square on here, welded a piece of square tubing uh, around a piece of round tubing, which inserts into here as far as holding it up. My upright, I have just a piece of square up here. This is conduit, and this is all actually conduit. And then I have at the top my one connector. We took the material and we sewed it, just a loop on each side. Same thing up here for the front. So all it does is a straight conduit bar through here, and then the little uh, conduit 90 on the end. <clears throat> and it supports itself just by putting this part, which just, it just comes in and out here. If I can do it one-handed, I don't think I can, but see this part here, it just goes into the tube. And, and that holds it up, and it's actually fairly sturdy. I've been shaking on it pretty good, making sure nothing's going to break, and it's been holding real well. Um, so now I'm going to take it down and, and uh, put it back uh, ready to go into the trailer. Okay, so that's how it goes up and down. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'll show you the parts one more time up close, how I have them put together. Okay, so what I did here is just use these little uh, Velcro straps around there to hold those parts together. And then these two bars are the, uh, the uprights. They, they don't go in that pack. What I'm working on, if I can show you here. I welded down in here, if you can see it, this that piece of square tubing right here. These bars both go in here. So both of my uprights fit into that tubing. And then here, if I can make this work, they fit around this bolt right here. So you can see they're stuck in the tubing and around that bolt. And then what I made, or am working on making, is this little piece right here that holds on here and fits right around the center of this by my thumb. We'll go through the bolt and then I'm making a nut that'll actually hold that on there to store that. And then this part of the, the long part here, it's all rolled up actually fits down in there and comes back and I'm putting a bracket, making a bracket here to, to hold it. Or uh, I used to use a piece of um, uh, nylon uh, strap, actually worked pretty good to tie it up there, but that'll hold that piece up there. Okay, so there is my uh, homemade awning. I think I had, I think the material was like 20 some dollars off eBay. I had my wife and mother-in-law sew it. And then the, um, other parts uh, just kind of do it. I think I bought like four sticks of it and it's It's like eight dollars a stick or something. So I didn't have much in it I think I think in all I was about forty to fifty dollars in the whole project Which is still half the price of anyone out there and you could easily adapt this to anything else So how I made the bottom supports and the uprights you could easily make them out of something else or a different way to attach Put them onto a vehicle a roof rack real easy to do. So anyway, that's all it is involved in that. So hopefully uh, that helps you guys out. Thanks a lot.